is Kara, AKA the Principal Painter, and today I am coming at you with an exciting sneak peek by the artist Barrett Biggers. Oh, I'm so excited to show this to you. Are you ready to see it? It is Ocean Dolphin. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Barrett Biggers. I wasn't able to find a whole lot of information out about him. He is a self-taught artist, I know that. Uh, he uh, uses a variety of mediums, including digital art for his work. I cannot wait. There is so much detail in this diamond painting. I cannot wait to see it. It is called Ocean Dolphin by Barrett Biggers. Uh, it is a sh uh, square shape. When you get your Diamond Art Club box, if you see a, a blue square with square diamonds on it, that is the shape of the diamonds. I know they are making some adjustments right now at Diamond Art Club to their round diamonds to make sure they are top quality. Diamond Art Club wants everyone to have top quality when you purchase from them. So they are making some adjustments to their, to their round diamonds because they do manufacture their diamonds in-house. Uh, this is a 70 by 93. It is a huge one, but because of all the detail in this painting, that's why it is so large. So I, again, cannot wait to see this. Uh, regarding their uh, Diamond Art Club box, for those of you that are new that have not seen it, they always are very sturdy. Again, the blue square indicates and the blue striping indicates that the diamonds inside are square. If it was a pink circle with pink striping, it would be a round. On the back, you have uh, how diamond painting works, uh, your kit contents, um, just some uh, licensing down here. There is also a QR code. Guys, do not ever pay full price for Diamond Art Club. They have coupon codes on the bottom of your canvas, on the side of your box, in your packing slip, just everywhere. There are also affiliates with Diamond Art Club, and you can use their code to get $10 off your first purchase. Also, I'll show you inside on the pamphlet. If you uh, download the app onto either your Android or iPhone, you unlock 20% off, and that 20% off is for anybody. So I highly recommend you download the app, but this uh, QR code you can scan for 10% off. Oh my gosh, let's get into this. I cannot wait, cannot wait. Also, for those of you um, that may not know, and Barrett Bigger's name sounds familiar, he has been, whoa, this is big. I'm using my muscles, guys, to pull it out. And in true care of fashion, things are falling on the floor. It's okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hello. Diamond Art Club, you are giving me a workout today. Good grief. Oh, my. It's ginormous. Um, for those of you that maybe um, are thinking Barrett Bigger's name sounds familiar. Is there anything else in the box? No, nothing in the box. Um, he has been a Diamond Art Club artist before. Uh, if you will remember a few weeks back, uh, Nurse Rachel of Nurse Rachel Crafts unboxed the Labrador. It was a silhouette of a Labrador, and in the Labrador was uh, na a nature scene. That was Barrett Bigger's, so that's uh, why he's sounding familiar. You do get a logbook sticker in your kit. Oh my gosh, my arms are going to be sore tomorrow from pulling that thing out. Um, it is a smaller sticker you can stick on the side of your box if you store your painting back inside your uh, box. You can also put it in a logbook. Um, you can put it on your on your crafting table if you'd like to. So um, that's always nice to have. I do uh, keep a logbook. So it, uh, it has the title, the uh, thumbnail image, the artist, uh, the shape, and the dimensions. I also got, okay guys, this is getting a little bit more consistent. Now I'm not gonna promise you'll get a new toolkit even if you do purchase this particular diamond painting. They are phasing them in, but from what I have seen with these new kits coming in, they are getting a little bit more consistent with their new toolkit. The original toolkits are just as great and have everything in it that you need to diamond paint. As I always say, the new toolkits just give you a few extra little sussies. Let's get into this. All right, uh, this bag is also reuse reusable and recyclable. It's a nice heavy bag, so if you have anything to store in there, that'd be great uh, ergonomically. Oh my gosh, okay. So what you get with the new toolkit, you get a bag of baggies for whatever you'd like to bag up, kit up, what have you. Uh, you get this cute little caddy with two plates of their famous heart-shaped wax. It is very good wax, uh, more than you need to complete your, your project. Uh, your wax also comes with a plastic, 
sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to get off. A plastic cover, make sure you take that plastic cover off or you will get no wax in your pen. And the plastic is on the top and bottom of each of their plates of wax. You get these branded tweezers. These are absolutely beautiful. I call them ombre. It goes from kind of light pink to dark pink and it is branded with the Diamond Art Club um, logo on it. Please keep your covers on these tweezers. They are sharp, stabby kind, and don't poke your eyeball out. You get a pen, a diamond painting application pen and squishy for diamond painting comfort, and just slide that on your pen, and then you don't hurt your, your fingers when you're diamond painting. They have also been very consistent with their multi-placers. These are the thin multi-placers, which are the best if you're going to place down more than one diamond, you get a four placer and a seven placer. I haven't seen any other um, numbered uh, multi-placers in these new kits, but these are great. You can stick one of the multi-placers. I love the four placers on the uh, opposite end of your pen. So if you have a, a lot of what we call color blocking or a lot of the same color in an area, you can uh, diamond paint, uh, put more than one diamond down. I haven't been brave enough to use a seven placer yet. You get washi tape, and this washi tape is always going to be uh, different. I'm gonna hold my hand so you don't get the glare. It's beautiful gold foil, looks to be some flowers in there. Um, when you get your washi tape, it's gonna be different than mine. Uh, it's just uh, <clears throat> random each time, and I've gotten a different uh, washi tape every single time. You also get a beautiful cover minder. Look at this butterfly. Oh my gosh, the gold and the gold flecks in it. Uh, cover minders. Uh, for those of you that are new, you peel your plastic back because the uh, material on the canvas is sticky to help the diamonds obviously stick down. You put the magnet underneath your diamond painting and the beautiful uh, cover minder on the top and it is magnetized and it holds your plastic back so it doesn't flippy floppy around while you're diamond painting. But I haven't, haven't seen one of these before. It's a butterfly, it's beautiful. And finally, last but not least, you get a beautiful boat with gold flecks in it. Um, this one is a little bit different. This one is a little bit more opaque that I'm used to seeing. I'm used to seeing more of a clear boat, but that's okay. These are great. You also get a matching stopper to help your diamonds not go anywhere while you're diamond painting. So that is the new tool kit. I'm ready to see this. I'm dying here. It's going to be big. I probably will not be able, or Marlon will not be able to get it all in frame. However, we will pan over it for you so you can see the whole thing. I don't want you to miss anything. Talking about this canvas, the back is buttery. It's what uh, it's what we call a tarpaulin canvas. Uh, it helps it to self-flatten uh, very easily. I'm gonna stick this toolkit over here because we are gonna need this whole table. Knock anything else off. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, inside, you get a pamphlet. A thank you from uh, Angie, the CEO and founder of Diamond Art Club. You also get what's included in your kit. You get a QR code up in the in this middle panel. You get a QR code for a video, or if you can scan it, it'll take you to a video to show you how to diamond paint. And on the bottom is a QR code that will take you to the VIP Facebook group. I suggest you join that if you have not. Uh, also another step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to diamond paint, some tips and tricks on diamond painting, Another coupon code. Thank you, 10, for 10% 10 off your next purchase. There are coupon codes all over the place. And also, there are two QR codes on the back, one for an iPhone and one for an Android, uh, to download the Diamond Art Club app. I do have that downloaded on my phone. It's been very helpful. And you, if you download that uh, onto your phone, you get 20% off your first purchase through the app. And that's for anybody. Even if you've bought 30 Diamond Art Clubs, if you download that app, you'll get 20% off. So that's awesome. Look at these, look at these drills, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'll get into those in just a moment. All right, this uh, sheet that you get is one big sticker. So you can cut any part of this sticker out, put it in a log book and, sorry good. Mm -hmm. You can put it in a log book uh, or the like. Um, it does have, you know, your start and end date, Ocean Dolphin by Barrett Biggers. Uh, it has your diamond shape, your, um, the size, and um, let's see, there are 49 colors, and there are six, six ABs. Oh, yes, I love it. 
104, 105, 112, 125, 130, and 141. Another sparkly, sparkly canvas with six ABs. Diamond Art Club is killing it with the ABs, so I'm excited. Uh, to do that. These are also pre-cut labels. As I always explain, you can peel them off and they are ready to go onto your containers when you are ready to kit up and they do come off very easily. You also have extra pre-cut labels down here that you can, you know, write on to stick on whatever you need to. That is very helpful. We'll get into the drills in a moment. This is going to take a little bit to unroll, but like I said, the detail in this you have, to, you have to have it big. I mean, you just do. You can't have it small with, with everything going on in this picture. I am, oh, I was so excited to get to do this. Dolphins are uh, my favorite animal on the planet, really. I absolutely love them. They are extremely intelligent. And um, hey, what about marlins? <laughs> oh, no, I knew that was coming. Yes, marlins are intelligent too, and marlins are hard to catch, so I'm glad I caught my marlins. Hopefully marlin. we're your favorite. <laughs> That's okay. All right, you ready to see this? Ocean, okay, seriously, I can't get it all in frame. Ocean Dolphin by Barrett Biggers. This is huge. You know what I'm loving about this, and I'm noticing right off the bat? Look at the look on that dolphin's face. It is so peaceful. He or she is jumping out of the water. So you've got the sky, you've got some rocks here. And again, I'm sorry, I can't get this all in frame. It's huge, um, jumping out of the water. But in the water, you see some birds off into the distance. Um, they're not gonna be detailed at all, but you can tell what they are. Under the water, you have jellyfish. You have what looks to be uh, a whale of some sort. Um, again, lots of jellyfish. You have some, what looks to be clownfish right here, uh, tropical fish. You have coral all in the bottom of this. All of this is coral. What looks to be an octopus down here. So you are getting a ton of detail. What I also like here, and it's kind of hard to tell until you put the diamonds down, but you can tell in the original picture, there's my original picture. It looks to be stairs. Um, can Marlon pan you in on the original picture? It looks to be stairs leading down into the ocean. That's what it looks like to me. What does it look like to you? Leave, leave a comment to, to let me know. It looks to be like a stairway uh, down either in, I guess it's in the water. So that's really cool. But I just love the look on this dolphin's face. Look, he looks to be smiling and happy and just playing in the water. But again, it's gotta be this huge guys for the detail because you're, you're getting a lot of detail in this. It is, again, it's a 70 by 93. Oh my goodness. Okay, we will pan you over this one more time um, at the end of the video, but I do wanna get into these drills. So I am gonna flip this over. Before I do though, let's always do it. Let's show them the canvas. The canvas, again, very, uh, you would definitely need a light pad because this is a darker uh, image, but the, the symbols are extremely clear, um, very easy to distinguish. You're not gonna have a problem. They have lighter writing on darker colors, darker writing on lighter colors. And so that is phenomenal. Okay, <laughs> I'm losing everything because this is so big. Okay. I don't think I've opened one this big in a long time, guys. This is ginormous. Okay, let me get my plastic down there. Well, okay, so what I'm looking for now are those ABs. One is one, so it's going to be kind of a tan color. I'm just wondering if there are any in the dolphin. There are twos in the dolphin all up in here. So the dolphin is going to have ABs in it. Um, any other ABs? Yes, this dash is an AB, so it's going to be all in the dolphin's back. Uh, so the dolphin is going to definitely have some AB in it. I'm thinking the ones will be down here in this coral. Yep, you got ones right down here in all of this coral. Can they see that? Mm -hmm. All of this is, is one. I don't see any other one. You have twos in this coral, twos in this coral, and twos in this coral. So those are where your twos are gonna be. 
let's see. All right. Three is three. Three is a tan color looks to be. I'm looking for three. I'm thinking it's going to be in the coral. Maybe not. I'm looking, looking, looking. Where are my threes? Where are the threes in the dolphin? This always happens to me, guys. One color just eludes me. Three, three, three. Where is three? I don't see it. There must not be that much of it in there. There's a bunch of twos and a bunch of dashes, which is all those ABs, but where is three? That is so funny. I don't, okay, here we go. I found them. I found them all in this coral down here is the threes, all in here. So that's where your coral is gonna be. It's kind of a, a mauve tone. Four is four. Looking for the number four, four and four in the jellyfish, all in this jellyfish, four in that jellyfish. Um, looking for fours in the sky, it appears to be like a lighter color. I don't see any fours there, but the fours are definitely prominent in those jellyfish. So that's where the fours are going to be. I'm looking for fours down here, any fours in the coral doesn't appear to be okay five is five which is yellow i can tell you that it's in this little clown fish and i think uh some five in the rocks over here so that's going to be an ab as well not very much of it and i'm sorry some five in the coral over over here so i'm sorry that is a fish okay then you get into the dash uh the ab 141 is a dash there are dashes everywhere everywhere there has got to be a ton of bags of this because it's all in the dolphin um i want to say is there any in the sky it's a straight dash no but there are dashes um let's see there are dashes in the jellyfish there are dashes in this coral I don't see any more straight dashes. There are diagonal dashes, but those are not ABs. I'm looking for straight. So yeah, jellyfish, um, all up here in the water. All of the white that you see, all dashes. And all in this dolphin at his, his top, the top of him, uh, some on the underside of him. Um, there are also some fours on the under, underside of him as well. So you're going to find dashes all around this dolphin. Unbelievable. Um, and that's it. So th those are our six ABs, guys. Oh, all right, let's get into these drills, shall we? I just cannot get over that image. It's gorgeous. I don't want him falling on the floor. All of Diamond Art Club's bags are labeled with the title of the painting in case, like me, you store your drill separately. Y'all, this is a ton of drills. Like, no wonder I was having such a hard time getting this thing out of the bag or the box. Oh my gosh. Okay, Marlon, let me know if I can see it. Mm -hmm. I do go into more detail with you on these so you can see every part of it. You're gonna have a lot of blue because of that ocean. Can they see these colors? Two bags of 38 tin. That's a really pretty color. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, five, six, seven, eight, nine bags of 712, nine. You may not be dealing with 310, but you're gonna be dealing with 712 a lot. Uh, 336, there are three bags of 336. That is a very pretty dark, dark blue. Here's our first AB. Again, these ABs are really unusual. Can they see that coating? Mm -hmm. All right, what is an AB, Kara? An AB diamond is a diamond with a special iridescent coating put on the top of the drills. Uh, it captures facets of light and facets of color and just makes them all together now. Shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer. Just a little bit more. And for those of you that might not know, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, like the Northern Lights, because uh, that's all of the colors. And um, they're absolutely beautiful. I've not seen this. I don't think I've seen this color. It's like a khaki uh, AB. So that's interesting. Okay, I think I picked up another thing. Seven bags of 712. Unbelievable. Okay, here we go. 3033. Three bags of 939, which appears to be a dark blue. 312. Isn't that a gorgeous blue? Two bags of it. 
3809, two bags of that. All the blues in this are just gonna make it. So here comes some taupe, 648, 3024, two bags of it, 598. Here is our next AB. Remember, we've got six of them in this painting. This is 141. Um, again, it's that iridescent coating. And um, again, it just makes it sparkle and shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer. 3799, 844, 3371, 3837, a dark gray, 647, a light gray, 435, a khaki, 646, kind of a light army green. Next train, we have two more trains of it. 3760, these are also large bags of drills. 3760. 823, three bags of 823. Two bags of 310. Like I said, you're not going to be living much of a 310 life, but 712, woo, get ready. Here come the purples, two bags of 158. That's gorgeous. Two bags of 597. Two bags of 3033, which is kind of an oatmeal-y color, and a couple of uh, 597s that decided they wanted to... Uh, Take a trip and join the 3033s. And here, no, I've got two more bags. Okay, are you ready? 3865. One, two, three, four, five, six bags of 3865. You're going to have a lot of light colors in that sky. 3811. 775. Really pretty light blue. 948. I'm thinking that's going to go in that coral. Here is our next AB, 112. Uh, it, it appears to be kind of a taupey color, uh, where the other one that I hadn't seen before was a khaki color. This appears to be a taupey color with that AB coating on it. This is going to be so cool. Last train to Georgia. Last train, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. We're almost done. 993, 437, 645, 739. 738, 104, here's our next AB. That's gonna go in that coral. That it that It's a peach color. That is going to be gorgeous with that coating. Love it. 434, 3771, 356, 433, 3023, 3830, 125. Here's our next AB. It is it's white, but it, it has just a tiny, tiny tinge of green to me uh, on the 125s. Just a little bit. 938, 3860, some browns. 3778, uh, 3355. I bet those two are going in that coral on those fish. 779, which is a brown. <laughs> there is not much to write home about on that one. Uh, 742 and 130. Okay, so 742 is a beautiful yellow. Here's our last AB, guys. Our sixth AB is 130. And that, I bet, is going in those fish and that coral. And again, you can see that shiny, shiny coating on there. So six ABs, guys. That's a lot of drills. Thank you for sticking with me. For those of you that might not know, tomorrow they are releasing these paintings. Set an alarm. The release starts at nine o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Mountain, 11 o'clock Central, and 12 o'clock Eastern. For Diamond and Ruby members, uh, those are tiers that uh, you can earn by spending certain dollar amounts with Diamond Art Club, and you get a 30-minute head start on purchasing these new uh, releases. Also, 30 minutes later to the general public, so 9.30 Pacific, 10.30 Eastern, 11.30 uh, Central, and 12.30 uh, Eastern, you uh, it releases to the general public. So I'm turning this over, and I'm going to have Marlon pan over it for you because, again, you can't possibly get this all in camera view. Make sure they get every part of this. I can move it up as you need me to. Let me know when you need me to move it up. You need to. Okay. You got it all? I'm getting it all. Okay. Woo, the camera has come off the tripod, folks. This is a big deal. We want you to be able to see it all in all of its glory. There's a lot of lighting that 
is going to hurt that, but that's okay. Okay, do you want me to lay it down? Better? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Perfect. I just love the look on this dolphin's face. It's just so peaceful and happy and all this underwater life that, I mean, it's just so detailed and beautiful. I love it. There you go. All right. I'd like to thank Diamond Art Club for sending this to me and giving me the opportunity to do this sneak peek for you. I never take that for granted. Thank you again, Diamond Art Club, for giving me this opportunity and letting me show this absolutely gorgeous canvas. I present to you Ocean Dolphin by Barrett Biggers. Um, it is amazing. It's an amazing canvas and uh, it's big. So if you like big canvases, this is the one for you. Uh, and if you like dolphins, I've seen a lot of comments in uh, Diamond Art Club <laughs> social media on a lot of people like dolphins. If you do, this is your painting. Set an alarm and go grab it tomorrow. Early release. Um, I just, I love this artwork. I really, 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 really do. All right. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. And uh, hopefully you get the paintings that you would like tomorrow for Diamond Art Club's release. And I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.